What is the valve size? No BAV is being performed. Are aortic occlusion balloons in the room? Yes. How much contrast is in the injector? I'm operating the pacemaker. It's been checked and ready. A backup pacer is present. Who's operating the defibrillator? Who's in charge of the balloon pump? What size is selected? Are we ready for bypass? What are the cannula sizes and location? Okay, the ACT is greater than 300. How much blood is available? Does everyone agree to proceed? TAVR stands for transcatheter aortic valve replacement. It basically allows us to replace a diseased aortic valve that has stenosis. This uh, TAVR procedure is a remarkable advance in uh, heart surgery. Uh, I, that is to say, you don't have to do the surgery anymore, okay? You can do the TAVR and through entering the blood vessels, you can put a stent in a occluded or nearly occluded aortic valve and the patient is fixed and can go home the next day. So our physician team includes uh, two interventional cardiologists, Dr. Edward Bergen, Dr. Christopher Thompson, and also a cardiovascular and thoracic surgeon, Dr. Gregory Lugo. Um, Dr. Lugo has prior TAVR experience before he came here. He helped start up two prior TAVR programs. When I came here, one of the things I thought we should be able to do here was uh, uh, do TAVRs, which had become pretty uh, mainstream uh, even uh, back in 2016. Yeah, the beauty of this procedure, unlike most things we do in interventional cardiology, is that there's uh, very extensive workup and planning. So um, we're, we're planned out. We know going in exactly how we're going in, how we're getting out, what size valve we're putting in. For me personally, it, it's actually enjoyable. It's something uh, different. It really dramatically changes what we do. It's people who come in the hospital who are short of breath, can't do anything at home, who go home the next day and feel like new people. This has given uh, a lot of people who 30 years ago were refused surgery, they do this procedure on and they do great. You really are able to help people with this procedure that before you would send home and they would die. In 2019, we obtained the American College of Cardiology, or the ACC's, transcatheter valve certification. We were the first program in the nation to do so, and we feel like this certification exemplifies that when patients come here, they are being treated by a team that truly values shared decision making, that we provide the best practices, that we have great patient outcomes, and that we truly provide a patient-centered focus when we're providing care to these patients. Um, this TAVR team's been very um, fortunate for this hospital. I think you've got some well-trained physicians, staff, nurses, techs, everybody in the room, and it, it takes an entire team to do this procedure. The team we have here is very cohesive. It's uh, multidisciplinary between uh, cardiology, the cardiothoracic surgery service, and uh, echocardiogram uh, people, and uh, it's uh, really worked out very well. Yeah, we've compiled a phenomenal team that personally I'm very proud of and um, can tell folks you're receiving the standard of care. You, I can assure you you can't get better care anywhere else in the world and I say that with 100% confidence.